In this video, we'll be looking into the minimization of DFA by using table filling algorithm. So the question given here says that uh, consider the following DFA and minimize this DFA. So here I've written down the steps which need to be followed for uh, minimization of DFA. So the first step is to draw the transition diagram for given DFA from given transition table. So here is the transition table. Now let's draw the transition diagram. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 states. Those are A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So let's start um, showing the transitions. A being the start state, arrow, and C being the final state. Let's circle it twice. So from A on A gives B, A on B gives F, B on A gives G, B on B gives C, C on A gives A, C on B gives C itself, D on A gives C, D on B gives G, E on A gives H, E on B gives F, F on A gives C, F on B gives G, G on A gives G itself, G on B gives E, H on A gives G, and H on B gives C. So now that we have drawn the transition table, now uh, we can make out that uh, we can make out that uh, which all states are being reachable from the initial state, that is from the start state. So uh, the second step is to eliminate all those states that are not reachable from the start state. So if you consider A, B, C. A, B, C and then F, E, G, H are all reachable from the start state either through the direct path or through the indirect path. But only a step two is, but only D is not reachable from the start state. Start state that is A. So we eliminate D. Our next, our next step is to find the equivalent and distinct, uh, distinguishable states by marking in the table. So first let's uh, write down all the possible combinations from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, so it starts like A, B, A is not possible, right? So A, B, A, C, D is not reachable. So A, D or D, A both are, uh, we need not consider it. So A, E, A, F, A, G and A, H. Similarly, B, B is not possible. So B, C. B, D is not possible. So let's write B, E, B, F, B, G and B, H. Then C, C, C is not possible. C, D is not possible. Let's start from C, E, C, F, C, G and C, H. Then we have D, D should not be considered as it is eliminated. Then we have E, E, E is not possible. So let's write E, F, then E, G, then E, H. Then F, F is not possible. So F, G, F, H. Then GG is not possible, so GH. So our next step is to select the states having final state in it. That is combinations like AC because it has one final state. This may not be uh, the final state, but this is not this is a not final state and this is a final state. So we should consider such uh, combinations. And now let's construct a table. Okay. So horizontally except the horizontally except the last we need to write down all the states that is from B, C, D should not be considered so E, F, G and H. And on this side uh, and on uh, and on, this is vertical and on horizontal except the last state we should write all that is A, B, C, D should not be considered so E, F and G. Now let's draw the table. Now that, our, now that our table is constructed, our next step would be to select the states having final states in it, like AC. So whichever state is having final state in it, let's mark uh, X into the table. Okay, so AC, put a tick here and here AC. See, one thing we have to remember is that AC or CA both are same. So AC, let's put a cross mark here. Followed by that, we have BC. 
So for BC also, let's put, put a cross mark here. Then we have CE, CF, CG, CH. Followed by that, we have we don't have anything on the lower part. So this was our step three. So in step four, what we'll do is we'll consider all the entries that are not being marked in uh, step three. We'll uh, write down them and check them on A and B. So let's write A comma B, A comma E, A comma F, E comma G, E comma H. So similarly, we'll write it down for all other alphabets also, all other states also. I mean, so A and B. So first, uh, A B on A. So A B on A. So it's B G. So B comma G. Similarly, A B on B is F C. So here it will be BH, here it will be BC, here it will be BG, here it will be BG. And here, as it is A on B, we know that uh, for A on B, it's always F. But here, the other part is varying, right? So E on B would be F. Uh, F on B would be G. Then here, G on B would be E. And G on B would be, um, G on B would be C. Uh, sorry, H on B would be C. So similarly, let's write down this kind of table for all the uh, states which are not being marked. Now I have uh, written all the remaining entries. So the next step would be, uh, we have to check that on AB, the resultant AB on A is BG and AB on B is FC. So here we have to check that if the resultant states are found in the mark table, then uh, the particular entry is marked or put a tick here and then mark this entry. If not, then put a circle there. So for example, BG is there and FC is there. Check if BG or FC is marked. Oh, FC is marked. FC is marked. Yes. As FC is marked, this is this consists of a final state. Let's put a tick mark here and we'll uh, mark AB in this table. So at AB, let's put a cross mark. Let's put a cross mark with a different color as this is being done in the next step. So next we have AE. So AE has BH and FF. So is BH and FF marked? No. So circle it. AF. AF has BC. So yes, BC is being marked here. So AF, put a cross mark there. Then we have uh, then we have AG. So BG and FE. So neither BG is marked nor FE is marked. So put a circle there. Then we have FC. FC is marked. So AH will also be marked now. A and H would be marked. So then we have BE. BE has CF. So yes, it could be marked. So BE has CF. So yes, mark it. Put a tick mark there. BF has GC. GC is marked, right? GC is marked. So let's mark BF also. Then we have BG. BG has CE. So BG is also marked. CE is, C is marked, right? So let's mark BG also. Then we have BH. In BH we have CC. Is CC marked here? No, CC does not exist only. So let's put a circle here. Followed by that we have EF. In EF we have HC. So is HC marked? Yes, HC is marked. So EF, let's put a tick mark there. E and F. Yes. Then we have EG. So EG, here HG is there, here F is, FE is there. So is it marked? In the table previously, no, it's not marked. Next we have EH. So HG, FC. FC is present in the table. So let's put a tick mark here. EH, E and H. Put a cross mark here. Then we have FG. CG is there. CG is marked earlier. So yes. So let's put a cross mark here. Tick. Then we have FH. CG is marked. GC is marked. Yes. FH is included. Then we have GH. EC is there. EC is CE. Is CE marked? C E is marked, right? C is marked. So let's put a cross mark here. So now let's consider all those entries which we have circled. We'll write it down in a separate table. So in the next step, that is in the step five, let's write down them. That is A E, which is not marked. Then we have A G, followed by that we have B H, and we have E G, right? So. Let's draw the table similarly. Let's write down the values as it is. Here BH, here BG, and here FF, and here FE. Here BH has GG and CC. Then here EG has HG and FE. So in this step, we need to uh, continue considering all the encircled states until all of them are found in the table. So let's check BH is marked or FF is marked. Is, is it marked? In the above state, above table, no, it's not marked. So let's circle this. AG. AG has BG and FE. 
so is bg marked here so bg is marked here so yes we can mark ag so let's mark ag now with a different color ag ag is marked now followed by that let's put a tick mark here then we have bh so gg and cc none of them are available in the table so let's circle this and then we have eg that is hg and fe hg was marked right so let's hg was marked so eg where is eg eg is here let's put a cross mark here yes and and a tick mark here so similarly these two are remaining right so let's write them down in the next step that is step 6 let's write them down ee is remaining and eg is remaining here a and here b ae has bh and ff here it's gg ee and bh here it is gg and here it's cc so is bb is bh or ff available in the table no is gg and cc available in the table no so what do we do so when the states can't be further reducible we write them down in the transition table so here we have reached the can't reduce further states can't be reduced further so now what we do we'll write down a uh, the uh, transition table now so our next step would be to write down the transition table so step 7 is to write the transition table for minimum dfa so we have managed to minimize uh, all the entities or all the states as much as possible so let's write down ae as it is and bh also as it is and on this side let's write a and b so let's copy them as same bh so here ff can be written as f itself and here gg can be written as g and here cc can be written as c followed by that here we have oh, whichever states are remaining so we have ab here so c is remaining d d should not be considered right as we have eliminated d then c d e e is there then we have f and g so c on a c on a has a so but a a and e are clubbed together so what we'll write here a e should be written here similarly c on b c on b gives c itself so let's write c here f on a f on a gives c so let's write c here g here g on a gives g itself and g on b g on b gives e but e can't be write, written alone a and e are clubbed together so let's write a comma e here so we have obtained the transition table for minimum dfa our next step is to draw the tra final transition diagram so let's draw the transition diagram now so we have a comma e that is the start state and c being the final state then we have b comma h followed by that we have g then we have f and c here so now ae on a gives bh a e on b gives f b h on e gives g b h on b gives c c on e gives a e c on b gives c itself f on e gives c f on b gives g g on e gives g itself and g on b gives a e so we have uh, minimized the dfa the given dfa as much as possible our next step and the final step is to write the uh, like minimum dfa expansion that is defining the minimum dfa m dfa could be written as q sigma q not and f where q is equal to a b c d e f and g here we should not consider d sorry so these are all the states which are being included in the transition diagram followed by that we have sigma all the states or alphabets which are used for the transition that is a and b and the transition function is defined in the all these steps then we have q not that is a comma e as a and b are clubbed together then we have final state as c itself so i hope you have understood how to solve this question if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you